Hi, it's Katie from Katie Cooks and Crafts, and today I'm making homemade whole wheat hamburger and hot dog buns. All right, guys, this is how you put together this bread dough. It's incredibly easy. You basically just dump everything in and knead it for like 10 minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna start with a cup of hot water. That's just hot, hot water out of the tap. And then I'm gonna add my yeast. So it's one packet of yeast or two and a quarter teaspoons. And a lot of recipes say that you have to proof their yeast, so just let it sit in the hot water and get frothy and activate. Um, I only do that if I think that the yeast might not work. So I just used this last week. There's no need to proof your yeast if you know that it's alive. So water, yeast, I'm gonna put some honey, two tablespoons of honey. I'm gonna put this recipe um, on my blog, so I will put a link to that, so if you wanna check out the written recipe. It'll be all there together. So that's one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. It's a quarter cup of olive oil. This gives an amazing flavor, and I think it helps make them just really soft and supple. So a quarter cup of olive oil. Have one egg. I'm just gonna crack it in this measuring cup so I can fish out any eggshells if I accidentally get some in there. So one egg. Teaspoon of salt. And just give that a mix. Now for the flour, I use about three and a half to four cups, and I use half whole wheat and half all-purpose flour. Uh, so I start with the whole wheat flour just so that I get the full amount in. So I usually do two cups of whole wheat flour, and then I do the remainder with the all-purpose. So if I go a little bit less, I'm not um, losing out on the whole wheat part of it. So that's two cups of all-purpose flour. Just go ahead and give that a mix. see it's really wet definitely not anywhere close to bread dough yet so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the all-purpose flour start with about a half a cup at a time and when I'm mixing up bread dough I like to use a big bowl like this and a spatula um, I don't like to knead with my hands till the very end just because when it's at this really sticky point it just sticks to my hands and I have pretty sensitive skin so it just irritates the skin. Um, so doing it like this is just a lot easier for me. I also, I like this big bowl because it's got a wide bottom so I can knead right into the bowl and it's the same action as kneading on the countertop but it's a lot easier just to take this bowl to the sink to wash it rather than scrub all the little bits off my countertop. I just knead like this. You could do this in a KitchenAid or a bread machine too if you had one. Just mix that flour in. It's still sticky, add a little bit more. Alright, it's getting to the point where the spatula is not effective anymore so I'm just going to go ahead and move to my hand and just continue to knead all that flour in. Dough is still sticky, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding from the second cup of flour. Takes about eight to 10 minutes of kneading to get this right. All right, so the dough is about ready. Um, you can see there's still some flour in the bowl, and this is the second cup worth of all-purpose flour, so I probably only actually mm -hmm. used about one and a third cups of all-purpose flour. That's why I like to put the whole wheat in first so that I'm sure I get the full amount in. Um, but this dough is ready to form into our rolls. You don't need to let this dough rise, do a first rise or anything like that. We can go straight into forming the bun. So I'm just going to clean out this excess flour and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just dusted the excess flour out of the bowl, put my dough back in here, have it sort of in an 
even circle thing and then I'm just gonna divide it evenly into eight pieces like this. So in half, and then each of those halves in half. And then each of those halves in half. All right, I'm gonna bake these on a Silpat lined cookie sheet and I just put them all on one cookie sheet. They sort of squish together as they rise and they're touching, um, but I don't really mind. If you want them to be perfectly round and not touching, just spread the rolls out onto two uh, cookie sheets. Uh, but I'm gonna make hamburger run buns and hot dog buns, so I'm gonna start with the hamburger buns. I'm just working the dough just to loosen it up a little bit, then flatten it into sort of a disc shape like this. I'm going to take my ring finger and my thumb and make a circle like this. And then from the bottom, I'm going to press the dough. If you can see, press the dough up through that circle. And it sort of extrudes the dough into this perfect little ball. And it pulls a tight skin. That's um, you know something that when you're forming loaves, you want this tight skin. It helps the bread to hold its shape. But I just push it up through like that and then squeeze and it makes this sort of round ball and then this part underneath I just squish it up into the bottom. So your seams on the bottom there and then I flatten them out a little bit to give them kind of a head start into a hamburger bun shape. If when you do this it doesn't turn out perfect then just squish it a little bit flat again and do it again. Every time you do it, it will end up a little bit better. So if you have to do them each twice, that's fine. Usually I do at least half of them twice to get them nice and round with a tight skin and then just slightly flatten them like this. So that's what a hamburger bun looks like before it rises. Let's put it here. And for the hot dog rolls, it's pretty much the same thing. So I do the same method to get a nice smooth round ball. Like that. And then I just kind of roll it into a long skinny hot dog bun shape. Like that. So that's about the size and the shape that it will be before it rises. Here are my rolls all formed and ready to rise. And I have the cookie sheet on this cooling rack that has legs. And I do this because I like to put my bread in the microwave to rise. So up here in my microwave, I have a shallow dish of water that I just microwaved for a few minutes so that it creates some steam. The water in the dish boils, creates some steam, and it's nice and warm and moist in there. Otherwise, I find when I make bread that the outer surface will dry out and it makes kind of a skin and the bread dough can't rise and expand to its full potential. So I'm just gonna work really quickly and put this in here. You gotta move kind of fast so that you don't lose all of your steam. I just open it up, put this whole thing in, close it up. And I'll check on it in about an hour or an hour and a half. This is what they look like after about an hour and 20 minutes. They go in a 350 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Here's what the buns look like straight out of the oven. I'm gonna let them cool on the pan for just a minute till they're cool enough to handle a little bit. Then I'm gonna transfer them to the wire rack to cool completely. Now my buns are all finished. I'm just gonna go ahead and slice them all up now so that they're ready to go. These buns are great for hamburgers and hot dogs, of course, but you can also just use them as sandwich rolls for any kind of sandwich or as dinner rolls to add to any meal. I hope you like this recipe and video. Give the video a thumbs up. If you give this recipe a try, I'd love to hear how they turn out for you. You can leave me some comments down below. And thank you so much for watching.